Oh, baby boo high quantum ronco is here. So yes, we did manage to acquire this dragon free to play with lots of trading and obviously the current high quantum wormhole uh, chess that we've got, the insignia chess. But there is the beautiful, beautiful baby in all of his fandangled glory. Now, is high quantum wormhole a good dragon free to play skinless? Eh, Kind of. I mean, right now, it's actually as good as it probably gets for High Quantum Wormhole because we had Open Masters and that means that we can actually fight High Master Karma with High Quantum Wormhole. But normally, High Quantum Wormhole is not going to get as many dragons to deal with directly because, you know, he's the Karma counter after all. And he doesn't really get many chances to be him best self. But it does mean that because I've gotten this dragon hatch, we can do the quests, we can use them as part of the puzzle quests as well. But, you know, Atomic Ace, you do, you can use that whenever you want to. We've got Gravity Hole as well. But as a whole, this dragon is kind of whatever free to play, if I'm being honest, skinless. And by whatever skinless, that's compared to other heroic VIPs. I think it's still a heroic, it is still a very high... A category dragon with two skills so as it states gravity hole it does deal damage to all opponents and that is the first element the legendary and then atomic case it says the skill never misses it cannot be dodged uh, it's just the only time where there's any difference is when you ko a dragon and then you know there's the extra turn as well uh, but in general this dragon is just kind of whatever but he looks absolutely fantastic um and I just need to... Does that fit? Okay, let's at least do wrong hole. And then, there we go, we've got him. Even though that's in baby form, so it's kind of weird. The adult form is absolutely lovely. The skill skins are also absolutely lovely. Like the wormhole skin, you can actually see his face as well. Uh, but if you want to know how I got this dragon, essentially, it was just by doing, well, lots of trading in my own alliance. Uh, but fundamentally, it was any heroic VRPs that I just managed to have extra orbs for so uh, i don't know if i've got any left but essentially i had like a hundred void eternal from the events i also had a little bit of norn which you can see i don't have any of that left uh, voodoo i did actually trade out some of my voodoo as well and then i did trade out not very much but a tiny little bit of harpy but at the same time i do kind of want to empower harpy still uh, but that's what I did to get this dragon early and get those quests done so that then the more orbs that we get from the actual insignias event, the better, because then we can get him empowered. But my drops in these quantum chests have been bad. Um, I know that it's kind of the case for everyone, except for, you know, the lucky few. But out of like the main quantum chests, my drops have been uh, pretty bad. It's been like gems, it's been jokers, it's been times 100 orbs for a dragon. Uh, it's been the same in the other chests, really, like kindergarten tokens or what is it? The other tokens, the terrible ones that I have no use for. Um, these ones, the rainbow tokens. Those have pretty much been my drops so far. But, you know, I did have that time where I got High Ascended Supreme from a chest, so I'm not going to complain too much. But anyway... I will be doing some more battles with High Quantum worm Wormhole, get a good feel for how I truly feel about the dragon. But anyway, it's time to unlock Charge Chick, so nothing else really matters, TBH. So yes, we did unlock Charge Chick. Charge Chick was literally the only thing I cared about in this event, and I would have got him regardless of what it took. But we did it in a very, very chilled way because I've been kind of busy. And there we go. Now we can pick up an extra Easter Hamter, an extra Mythatomic Particle. But anything else extra in this event, I don't actually care about. If it was a collection that I did care about, yes, I would actually be hard grinding this. I would have done tons of pre-breeding and all that sort of thing. But when it comes to an event like this that I truly don't care about, it's just a... Uh, well, I'll just take whatever extra rewards we happen to find. And, you know, we'll still do the quests when they come up, like the arena battles, quest battles. I'm not going to be doing any more breeding, however. The breeding for this event has ceased. I will do regular breeding. And, of course, the thing that we have to watch out for is the fact that we do have the runner event coming in just over a day's time. So make sure you don't fill out any of your hatcheries and breeding dens too much but let's make sure we get charge chick out here because charge chick is a wonderful 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 boy 
Oh, lovely. I love the baby. I love the adult, but honestly, the baby is actually really, really cool. Uh, the other thing that we do have is we do have the new Dragon TV collection, and out of these chests, you can get, like, Corrupted Metal. Maybe you need it for the Legend, uh, or the, you know, the, the finalized collection for uh, Chaos, Corrupted Chaos and Corrupted Legend. We have Random Mythicals, we have War Titan, we have Gluttonous, which is, like, the new player, new bait dragon, Usurper Vampire, Hexed Thoughty. Not really a great chest this time around, but the way I see it is any new dragon is good for me. And then of course we do also get the random drops, sometimes you might get some heroic jokers out of it, most of the time you'll probably get food, but you do have a chance of, you know, getting what you want out of this stuff. But Regardless, that is the currently ongoing stuff, just more puzzle and more maze. We do actually have a food path, and it is here for another day and 13 hours until the rider event comes out. And honestly, I think I'm actually going to do the food path for once. And now, you may think that this is a silly idea, but the only reason I'm doing it this time is exclusively just because I don't care about that collection enough. Um, yes, food we can get from many sources, yes. I'm sure I'll have enough food to do whatever the heck I want. But to be honest with you, I always want more food. So I will go and pick up the guaranteed XL food box. We also got the Alliance chest today, but it's never enough. Like just to put it in perspective, I have like three level 55 dragons right now that need to go to level 70. I have tons of dragons that just need leveling up. I've got level 60s that need to be leveled up to 69. The, the food situation is dire. And I've been putting it off. So I need to start prioritizing food again. I feel like I'm going back to how I was when I was like a level 35 player. Um, but we will make our way through. We'll get this guaranteed XL food box and we'll make our way through the runner path as well. I think is going to be my plan ski. Uh, I did also manage to breed High Nebula uh, a, a few days ago, which was a random nice pickup in the middle of this puzzle event. Uh, but, you know, it's always nice getting a free breed on a heroic because you can either, you know, just recall it if you've got a duplicate or you can just use it for empowerment, whatever you want to do. And it does mean that I don't have to waste any existing orbs on getting this dragon. I think I'd actually traded some out for him. I can't remember. Let's check. Let's check so that I can confirm that I am not lying. Yeah, there we go. I didn't even have a hundred of them. Uh, I probably traded them out to someone at some point to get a different heroic that I wanted. And that means that I wouldn't have summoned that guy until I got to 100. So there you go. Easy clap. We got it via breeding instead. So I am going to keep doing some more breeding. And if you ask me what do I actually breed for these days? Well, the answer is basically I will just go into my collection and I will go, okay, which collection isn't done yet? This one? What dragons do I need? Oh, look, it's a stinky sanctuary breed. Oh, look, it's a stinky. I don't know how I don't have Millennium yet, okay? I know it's a problem. But same with some of the others. It's just some of the Sanctuary Breeds are just a pain. We've got Draconos that we still need to get. So even though I've got tons of dragons, there are still just like a couple that I'm missing. Azure, if we get him, we'll also finish off this total collection. And there are some that we are very close to finishing. We need High Zephyr, we need High Winter. But, you know, we're very, very close. Zombie Terror. Do I really not have Zombie Terror after all this time? Do I not have any orbs for it? I've got 10. Like, why have I just not picked up Zombie Terror? I don't know. There's a few things that I still need to finish up. And now that I do have more space, I can actually do it because I was putting it off for a while because I completely ran out of habitat space, believe it or not. Um, but that is why I need to get back on the hard grind. I'm hoping to get up to like 1700 dragons at some point, but I do need to focus on it quite a lot. So anyway, I'm going to feed one more dragon for that and then we will pick up some more stuff. But... You know, for now, I'm going to keep chilling until the runner event comes out. I got the dragons that I wanted, which actually, do we have any more league battles? Which I can throw my lovely, lovely wrong hole in here. Um, there we go. <laughs> what a stupid name. Hi, Quantum Wrong Hole. Let's take on this fight while we're here. But, you know, in terms of how good a uh, Quantum Wrong Hole actually is, uh, you know... Like I said, they are not the best dragon in the world, and typically against other level 40s like that, until he gets ranked up, he's just going to get completely ass-blasted. Like, there is no question about it. Um, my main focus on getting ranked up at the moment is not for dragons like him. It's actually for my Corrupted Legend. It's for my Barrier Dragons as well. 
Uh, not bar- well, my guard dragons, I should say, not barrier dragons, but they are the ones that I'm trying to focus on, and you know, when the enemies don't have phoenix, it can be more annoying to try and rank them up, but that is the ultimate goal, really, that I'm going for, and somehow we have nearly a thousand gems after, like, I swear I was only on 100, 200 gems, like, a month ago, um, and now somehow I've saved it up to a thousand, so can't wait for a time where I'm gonna waste all of those! <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I need to really focus on getting some dragons leveled up. If you're wondering where my grotto is, he is at 56 at the moment. We've got a few more quests going for him. Uh, so I will pick up another 100 gems from his quest as well, because you can see here we've got 25 minutes and we will have the bonus 200 orbs and we'll have the bonus 100 gems. So I'm actually going to be at nearly 1,100 gems, which is kind of wild. Uh, it is possible to save up free to play, but it takes a very long time and a lot of not spending. And the reason I'm not spending is because, well, the collection suck. And last collection I didn't spend because I didn't think it was worth it. And so we've just happened to save up a lot of stuff in the meantime. But anyway, the other dragon that I did get hatched was also Reindeer. So I did get some bonus leaderboard points this time around as well. And if we check the leaderboard, you'll see I am in first. My score is not crazy. Uh, it's not like I've been hard grinding the ads or anything else. I've just been doing them as and when they come. But it looks like it should be another win on the leaderboard event, assuming that none of these players suddenly massively gem everything, which could happen, to be fair with you. Uh, but this is just my reminder to you that you can achieve a lot of stuff free to play without even being hyper, hyper f hard focused on a particular event like me. I'm chilling at the moment. Uh, but you can easily get your hands on tons of dragons if you're just playing them chilled, but you're just consistent. Uh, like Grotto, we can definitely get E5 if we want to. The other heroics I've got here, we can E5 if we want to. Question is, which dragon am I going to level up next? I'll probably end up leveling up Michonne, because Michonne has been waiting a long time. Like, if I bring up our lovely Michonne here, uh, where is she? She should be... Here she is, level 55 still. Michonne will always be useful in her various arenas. Any The Walking Dead, any guard dragon, they will always have their uses. Even if The Walking Dead dragons tend to be a little bit on the slower side than the guards. Um, but they will always have a use. So it's probably going to be a good idea to level her up because I've got other options that are already like level 69. Or are roughly around the 60 mark. But, you know, we'll see what we do. But we've got a lot of options. I've got like 30 million food. We'll pick up more from the maze event. So we'll have like 30 mil. And then it'll be just in time for more sets of events. The ever, ever constant grind of this game, right? But anyway, for now, I'm going to be waiting for my cheeky poo to hatch. I appreciate you being here. Let me know how you're going. Did you get everything that you wanted out of the recent events? Did you get Grotto empowered and everything? Did you get all your quests done? I'd have had my quests done, but my game creeps crashing every time I do quests, so I've kind of given up on them. Uh, it's starting to annoy me quite considerably. So, yes, thank you for that social point. It wasn't breaky before and now it is. So there's that. <laughs>